Hello everybody, I am back with another video. This video is about the news of Todd Tucker getting suspended from Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think he should be suspended because he knows better than that. So what did Todd do? According to the MTO news, Bravo suspends Candy's husband from Atlanta Housewives. The Real Housewives of Atlanta have suspended Candy Burry's husband Todd Tucker for bad mouthing the show before the final on Sunday. So they got a final coming up on Sunday. Okay. I thought they already had the final. But then again, I'm not paying uh, I'm not paying to be distracted by Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -mm. Todd called the last season trash on a YouTube show with his wife Candy. Shortly before Bravo aired the final installment of its top rated show. Bravo makes all the housewives and their husbands sign a non-disparagement clause in their contract, which blocks their stars from criticizing the show or it creates publicity. A Bravo executive confirmed to MTO News that Todd signed a non-disparagement clause and that he blatantly violated it. The controversial video was uploaded this weekend before part three of the Atlanta Housewives reunion show aired. And Todd can be heard on camera saying, the last season was trash. Now, I wonder why he said it was trash. Now, we'll see in the article. He said it was trash because Nini, he figured Nini wasn't dealt with when she did the closet incident. I'm getting the feeling that may not be what it's about. I think you think it's trash because they made a fool out of themselves coming for Portia, attacking Portia, and making Portia out to be this angry person that can't keep her hand on herself, that can't control her temp, uh, can't control herself. And come to find out that Portia, Portia's um, employee that she fired, who Candy hired, and Carmen, and Don Juan, and some new security or people that they had, and then Todd, all of those sitting there painting this narrative that Portia came to Todd's birthday party and goes after Dennis's ex who Candy invited there just to put Portia in a situation where they could set her up as being out of control and just attacking people. Anybody with common sense knows if you go to anger management, you're learning something. Portia learned something, because she hadn't put a hand on anybody since Dragon Kenya. I don't know nobody she put her hands on. They claim she put her hand on somebody when they was on some vacation thing. I don't believe that. Like Portia said, all of that was lies. See, they just paint this narrative and set Portia up for these things. Is what I'm thinking. I think that incident of them all looking like lying idiots attacking a pregnant woman not knowing she was pregnant and that's how come that narrative wouldn't stick that's what i think but then again that just uh that's just a perspective that come to my mind that may not be a hundred percent true but i think it has a little bit to do with it and like, oh, why he even care if they do anything to Nene? Why is that even his business? 
Anyway, Bravo makes all the housewives and their husbands signed it. I already read that. Let me see if I can even play that. I don't even know if it, I don't know if it can play. I don't know if they have a video of him saying it. Look, those are cameras. He said camera. This is an advertisement. Todd didn't like the season because he claims that the housewife let Nene off too easy. Did they let Nene off too easy? Nene had everybody coming at on that car, coming at her on that car, and she had to sit there and take it, and she did. To me, that was not letting off easy. And another thing, Nene, Real Housewives of Atlanta, is Nene's franchise. I don't care what I'm gonna say. It's Nene's franchise because Nene is the one that piloted the show. So people don't want to believe that. That's just what I think. And all our Bravo insiders agree. The network is furious with Todd. One top executive told us Todd will be suspended for the beginning of the next season. It's not clear how many episodes he'll be out, but he's definitely going to be on the bench, claims Bravo execs. Here's the video. That caused all the drama. Todd comes in around 8.30. Let me see if I can play some of this. Without Bravo. Giving a um, copyright strike. Hey. This comes in around 8. I think Candy deserves everything she gets concerning Todd. For the simple fact. Aha. Uh -huh. She gonna make it her business. To get Kenya back on the show like her and Kenya ever been friends. They say it comes in around 8.30. I don't know why I got to have things in that. It absolutely no sense. Okay. Hello on YouTube. What y'all talking about? Just a wrap up of the season. How's what? Speak on it. Yeah. The season was trash. What? Why would you say that? It was. I didn't really. What do you mean what? A lot of people got off easy. It was, it was a real soft season. What do you mean? I don't know. Tune in to next season. This is Jason. He said he agrees. What? I'm going to put you on speaker. Oh, I'm gonna put my you on God. Speaker. Hold on. No, I'm going to put him on speaker. Why do you think the season was trash, Jay? A lot of people got off easy. Like, normally, y'all would have got into each other a little bit more. But y'all kind of like had an argument. It's like, okay, now we're fine. <laughs> hey, hey, that's coming from a dude. That's my boy. He got hurt, so he had to lay up and watch all the TV shows. So he called up on Housewives and he said it was trash. Oh, whatever. Trash. <laughs> this was a trash season. Oh, boo. boo. That's what I say. Boo to the season. He's a hater. My husband, boy, he always got something bad to say. Not <laughs> anyway, always. I don't know. Not always. Big mistake. Even Candy know at this moment. That Todd made a mistake. Cause they all know they can't bad mouth the show or the publicity of the show. She knows that. I don't know if Todd forgot. If y'all believe, if y'all agree with Todd, you can chime in below. Anyway, big so big mistake, Todd. You know better than that. So Todd didn't say it had nothing to do with Nene. His friend said. You cannot come back and say what you say. He must not, Todd must not like the show no more. Or is he trying to ruin it for Candy? Because Nene is insisting that Phaedra comes back. Nene said let them all come back. Now they won't, since Candy goes out of her way to get Kenya back on the show and Kenya's now back on the show. I think Todd um, made for Candy, because I think Nene is, I think Faith will come back to the show. They're saying Nene did this and this and that, and Candy did and quit and all of that. I think Faith will coming back to the show, and I think Todd irritated about it. 
because he always protected my candy. And so he may be knee knee about that is what I think. Because it ain't about no knee knee getting away with stuff. Oh, y'all back together. Maybe, like you say, we tired of the... That thing between candy, that thing between candy and Portia, it went on too long. It was sickening to the point that candy ran it out. And then candy still carrying it, keep carrying it on. But it's your sex dungeon on the road to what thing she doing. That's just, that's just too much. And I hope Portia never go to uh, any event she ever have ever on the planet. Because... It doesn't matter that none of that happened. The bottom line is, they need not to go in her closet. And she said not to go in her closet. I don't blame Candy and Portia so much for going in the closet. But those production knew not to go in the closet. Just because Dee Dee and Dee Dee needed to smile it off and they sent up with Dee Dee. Production knew not to go in that closet. And that's why he got drugged. That's why one got dragged out by his shirt and ripped off his body. And the other one got his teeth cracked or knocked out. Either way it go, it's crazy and hard. Let me see, it deserves to be let go. So I'm just checking to see if there's any other articles, and there are not. But anyway, I think that's it for this article. And. I will be back with more videos. Bye.